Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am on the way to my maternal fetal medicine doctor. It's still super weird whenever I drive. It feels like, I don't know, it feels so different. It is super hot, but I'm so excited. What, how hot is it? It's, it's 98 right now and it is like, oh my God, I almost melted. And my husband's so good. He, he um, while I was putting on my shoes, he comes always and turns on my truck. That way it'll cool down a little bit. But even with that, it is just so hot. Hombre, and then being pregnant peor tantito, it's just awful, awful, awful. So yeah, I have a, um, I haven't been to my uh, maternal fetal medicine specialist because last time it was like when the quarantine was like had not lifted a little bit or whatever but it was like going strong and they were like no you know we'll just um, what email the the sugar logs and if everything's okay we'll postpone to May so today is Cinco de Mayo and everything is out like people are buying like raspas and elotes all these little snackies and I'm like it's funny how when we're at the house we think like the world is doing the same thing but no nope, life goes on I guess yeah so I'm sorry if I'm sweating I dressed all day I have been super tired super out of breath that's why I sound like this big old fat cake because I keep taking deep breaths and I cannot get enough water And I was just relaxing all day. And then I said, okay. I told myself, self, you need to shower. You jump in the shower at one o'clock. Well, we were in the living room and we started watching, well, actually uh, we were watching the movie RV and it was one, 115, 120, 130, 145. At 150, I'm like, okay, I need to get up and shower because I need to leave at 12, at 2.15, it's 12.32, I need to leave at 2.15 to be there, and then you have to um, call when you're outside, you let them, you call them and you let them know, hey, I'm here, and then um, that's kind of like your sign-in, and then they will tell you when you can come in and go up there, because if there's only like, I mean, they have like each, I think they have like three rooms, or four rooms, but before you have to go to triage, like they weigh you and they go over your sugar log. They take your blood pressure, all that good stuff. And then you go to your room. So I think they have you wait in your car until they're ready for you to call. Ready for them. They're ready for you to call you back. Whatever. So yeah. And then from there. Um, so I'm going to be waiting in the car and it's still hot. Like my air is full blast and it's still super hot. Like, well right now it's getting better but also since I haven't been out that much I have only okay uh, like two months ago we had gone to the outlets and I had bought I went to the only I went to the old baby outlet and I bought a whole bunch of really cute dresses to wear throughout my pregnancy but there's a problem now they fit me they fit me but because my belly's kind of way pointy and out there like it's really really short from the front and like long from the back so and they are maternity no actually they're not maternity that's why they're kind of weird um so i have to wear shorts under and i do have one pair of black biker shorts and like i couldn't wear the dress that i wanted to wear i couldn't wear black biker shorts with them and so i was like you know what i'm gonna wear the black biker shorts a t-shirt and my running shoes and that's how i'm gonna go i did a little bun because it's too hot to have my hair down and I didn't have time. Like I literally showered like in 10 minutes, super fast. And I, I could take 10 minute showers, but not if I'm gonna wash my hair because then that's even longer. So then I did that super quick. And then I just threw on a little bit of makeup just so I don't look dead and got ready, got my water. Um, and I, I'm on the road right now. So I wanna know what they're gonna tell me. Baby is supposed to be weighing at 29 weeks. It's supposed to be weighing between two to 2.5 pounds. So we'll see how 
much he is weighing. I really, really think he's a little bit more than that, which is fine. They always say that it's a pound. Well, at this age, stage, it's half a pound. But if it's more than a pound, that's when they start to worry. Also, I will be getting, I think, an appointment for my, um, for the baby's uh, fetal echo for, for the pediatric cardiologist. I go in, he does a sonogram and checks the baby's heart because they say that whenever you have diabetes, um, gestational diabetes, baby, sometimes uh, something with the heart the valve, something, sometimes it's too thick and then it doesn't form properly or whatever. They explain it to me and I kind of understand, I just can't explain it, but so I have to get that done before 30 weeks, which is next Friday, so I need to make sure that I leave with that appointment. So I will update you guys and let you know what they tell me and how much he is weighing and if I have to do make any changes with my insulin. Um, so yeah. See you soon. So I am here already and I called him and I am 15 minutes early, which is what I always like to be 15 minutes early to my appointments. I don't like to be waiting or be late to my appointment because then they make me wait. I know that's how it happens because that's what I used to do. I'm in the shade. They told me as soon as they can, they're going to call me so I can come up. Um, I'm for some reason, I'm nervous to see. I don't know what they're going to tell me. I think they're going to be like, I don't know. Because I'm only injecting in the morning. I inject at 8 in the morning and at 10 at night. I do my uh, insulin, insulin injections. And I don't want them to tell me, oh, you have to do four times a day. Oh, because I don't even know where to hold myself anymore. Like, I feel I'm going to puncture. I don't know. Like... I'm so paranoid and I keep like okay can I do it like in my arm or in my thigh but then every time I'm gonna try it, it I can't do it I can do it on my stomach but I can't do it on my leg or my thigh I'm sorry on my thigh or in my they say back here I mean I have a lot of little fat here a lot but I just can't so I'm nervous about what they're gonna tell me like they're gonna tell me to poke myself more times a day I don't know so I'm here and I'm waiting and I do need to stop at the pharmacy on the way home and pick up my prenatal I'm out I've been out for two days so I haven't been taking them okay so I will update you when I'm out okay I am finally out it is about 4 30 it did take forever so they did give me my appointment for the fetal echo um, next week. And so baby is supposed to be weighing between 2.2 two pound, 2 .2 pounds to 2.5 pounds or 2.2, like 2.22 to 2.5, whatever. And he is measuring a three pounds, five ounces to three pounds, seven ounces. So he is a big baby. He is bigger than he's measuring 31 weeks and I'm 29 weeks. So three weeks in a, um, ahead. And it's just because my, my fasting numbers are not controlled right now because I'm not taking my snack. I try to really, but it's not happening because at 10 o'clock I'm super tired. I, I'm already laying down and then I do whatever I have to do, my shots and my night routine and all that stuff, my medication, and then I go to sleep because I'm tired. So I really need to work on that. I need to go buy the Premier Protein Shakes because I am not about to eat at 10 o'clock at night if I already have acid reflux. So I'm going to eat cheese and meat and chicken if I can have... Who the hell ate at 10 o'clock at night? Like, uh-uh. Let me take off. This. I got myself thirsty. So, um, they did increase my dosage, but still only two shots a day in the morning and at night. He wanted me to do one in the morning when I wake up and then one after breakfast, but he's like, you know what, I'll see you back in two weeks. Let me see how you do. So in the morning at eight o'clock, instead of getting 12 units, I'm going to be getting 18 units. And then at 10 o'clock at night, 
Um, instead of getting 12, I'm gonna be getting 18. So 18 and 18, home twice a day. That's good. Um, oh my God, I want some like that yogurt ice cream. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so the, other than that, he didn't, I thought he was going to get mad at me because they're so strict and I don't like get mad, but he was like, I know the quarantine and we just want to be eating and we're just at home and da, da, da. but he's like, you know, you really have to be careful because the baby is measuring much bigger and his belly is big. And so I do have a lot of fluid and that's just because of the diabetes. So I need to watch out for that. Okay, so that's just a little update um, on what's going on. And then, uh, so next week I do have my appointment. Thursday I have an appointment with my OB. And then next week I have an appointment for the fetal echo. Uh, and then, which is a, the baby's heart cardiologist. And then the week after that, I come back here. So now it's like every two weeks, which is going to be fun times. Okay, so that is all for today's quick little video. I just wanted to like kind of update on what's going on and how baby boy is doing. And um, say hi. Bye guys. We'll see you on the next video. If you have not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. That way you get um, updates on how we are doing. Bye guys.